Right, let's do a test on this. Now I've re-sprayed this about five times, just some, well I'll show you actually, over the top because the first lot of paint I had was only just thin enough and it was leaking because uh, PLA does leak and I think it's hydrophilic is it, that it absorbs moisture. So this is what I'm using. I mean it doesn't matter the colour in my opinion in this case. Got this from pound and a pound sort of shop. Been some wet on me there. Or it might be rain. I'll try and get that QR code in. So hopefully you can scan that that if you wish to. In factory it says the reflections of my camera lights there. Use this outside as any spade. It does have a sort of safety thing in the top here which you've got to remove before you can press the, the nozzle. And I've done that about five five spades, some blue painters tape around it. So I'm hoping that's going to be waterproof, well this will be a test of that, but just a second, yeah that's just plastic, it's not water droplet. I plan to do a test from now, Let's see what time it is, daily for about a week, that's what I'm hoping to do. So it's 10th 41, 23rd of September on the night that is 10.41 on the night and this is a bit of noise from this there's not much noise about I have a power supply here 12 volts because I plan to have this on all the time this is air blowing out the back I can feel it takes a bit of time to warm up so that's pretty dry bone dry at the moment this draw it's 10 41 10 41 yet yeah, still p.m. I probably plan to have it more over here to try and get any moisture that's going to need a spool. I've moved the spool now forward so I can move the printer back it was further over. I'll do that just now move the printer back a bit. It did have to be moved about 100 millimeters forward. Now I've got on a, like an arm thing sticking out. I plan to do some more work on this. I'll talk about that in another video if it works out. So, yep, that's my humidity unit. And basically I'm just going to leave that running. It's not too noisy. It's pretty noisy. Now I'm not sure if that's the PSU or the humidity unit actually. I mean, Uh, it's actually the PSU here, the power supply unit that's making most of the noise. I can tell when I move this over. Uh, it's the uh, power supply making most of the noise. There is a fan in here that does make some of the noise. Most of the noise is coming from this PSU which has a fan in, 12 volts as I say. In my case it's going through this emergency stop. So if I press that, that will knock it off. There's a junction box just down here. You can see that black square thing like a junction box to go to my printer and to the humidity unit. This is just some oil I've got. Right, I'll just leave that going. I'll come back in about 24 hours and see how much water there is. Well, I'll probably come back in 12 hours actually to see how much water there is in this drawer. Now I know it works, I've showed you in the other video, but that was 
the draw was leaking in that, so it's hard to tell. But this is going to be longer term sort of test of this unit. So most of the fan noise there is coming from that PSU. I'm sure I've got a quiet fan on that PSU. It's supposed to be a quiet fan. I think. Let me just double check that. Let me move this quite far over. I'll have to pass the camera if I can. Just sorry, sorry. Move the camera off. Try to put up. Yes, most of the noise is coming from the power supply PSU here. Now, I haven't wired that up to the printer, so to speak, because it was one option, but that would mean that this humidity unit would only come on when I put the printer on. So I want it on 24-7, basically. I want it on while the printer's not on. Otherwise, it won't obviously be working. Sorry, my lights flickering there. Stabilise that a bit. So the draw is to catch water in. Yep. Okay, let's leave it at that. Come back in about. I think I'll come back in 12 hours. Right, it's just after one o'clock in the morning. That's one o'clock a.m. And we've got already got quite a bit of water in here. Well, a reason, a reason amount for the amount of time, I think. You can probably see that. It does seem to be, let me check. No, there doesn't seem to be any moisture leaking through that with that. About five coats of that paint on, I showed you. Pop that back in without tipping it out. So that's only been 10.41 I think I started and it's just after 1 o'clock now. About 3 hours or so. That's not too bad so it is working. I'll try it again in the morning, show you in the morning. I want to try and get like a daily time or 12 hour time as well. Right, it's 2.18, that's a.m. early in the morning. You see the water there? Quite a bit. Let's turn it up where you may see better. Oh. oh no, I'm getting I'm gonna be wet on there but I don't think that's because it's leaking. I think that's just the water dropping down. And I just feel a bit damp like. Don't tell me it's still leaking. Well, if it's leaking, it's... Can you see that? Just look at the bottom there. It might be just water that's dripped down from there. Because when you shake it, it's going to shake any water down. Let's put the drawer back in. And I'm going to leave it now. For quite a few hours. Uh, it's been about 12 hours, it's, uh, let me get the exact time actually, 10 past 10 a.m. Let's have a look.
to me they didn't see much water than last time I looked really to be honest with you. Doesn't seem to be much more water. I mean that's that is damp. I don't know if that's from earlier on. Let me lift this up. No, there's no damp underneath. The trouble here is, unless you're careful, well, gentle taking out the drawer, not knocking it, well, even then you might get a few drops of water coming down from the heat sink. Any knocking of this is going to... See, if you knock it about, any water droplets on the cool side of the heat sink sort of thing are just going to drop down and drop down on the bottom. It's not, if it is damp, it's not overly damp, it's only damp really, it does feel like there's a drop of water, more of a drop of water there than leaking. Anyway, I'll give it another 12 hours or so, I'm going to try in 24 hours. Maybe there's just not much water moisture, but there doesn't seem like a lot more water in that than when I looked earlier. I expected quite a bit more water, and maybe you can compare better on the video than what I can hear in real life, I think. Well, it's been about 24 hours I am printing. how much water, I wouldn't say there's a massive amount, but maybe there's not much humidity. I did lose about an hour off this because I was doing something with the electric stuff. Just going to leave it, let me have a look at that, but no I'll leave the bottom, let me uh, just leave it now for another 24 hours or so. Right, it's 10.22 on the night. Sorry, it's more near the 10.30 on the night. I was looking at the wrong clock there. The clock I was looking at is a bit out. And it's the 25th of September, so you know timing. Let's have a look. It doesn't appear much more in here. I expect it to be a lot fuller. This is wet at the bottom. So I'm unsure if this is still leaking. That's the only way I can think of that. It's And it's got about five layers of this paint on here. And it comes right up to the edge, as you can see there, all the way around. This feels dry, the bottom. But this feels wet, so really what I should do before opening it, I would recommend that you give it a couple of knocks to shake, try and shake any droplets down. We really feel that. I guess that's cold and it's quite quite a lot of water on there. Oh, there's quite a bit of water on there. I don't know if you can see it. Sorry, that's going on. There's quite a bit of water on these. That is cold, chilled. I wouldn't say absolutely freezing. I mean, it can feel wet, so it's not frozen. Yes, quite a lot of water on those there. Uh, 
like fins on the cold side. Let me, I can feel warm air coming out the back. I have this, I don't know if this will do it. So that's about 33. Let's get an ambient temperature. Ambient temperature is about 26. So about 33. Sounds about right. Centigrade that is. Yeah, I can see moisture on those fins. 21. That's probably, that might be pointing at the, it's hard to tell because 18. Oops, what's happened there? One of my lights is gone. I wouldn't rely on this too much because I'm not very good at picking up silvery surfaces and that is aluminium fins on there. That's just to give you an idea of the temperatures there. But it doesn't seem to be filling up as much as what I thought it would be. It's got the initial pin. Can you feel the edges of this? Whoops. What can you try and put? Feels dry. Feels very. That might be just dampness off the. Uh, what I'm going to do. I'm going to dry this bottom with a, an old towel. Put it back in. I'll have to remember to knock it a few times. See if I knock it. You see some drops of water down there. Yeah. So I'm not sure if this is what's happening to the water because I would have thought it would have been much more than that. I mean obviously it's working to a certain extent. Mm. I did as much as possible with a towel on the bottom there. And uh, mm, put the drawer back in. So I don't know what's happening with it. I'll have to seriously think about this because it doesn't seem like it's filling up any more with water than it did a couple of days ago. It's come up to a level and then stopped. That's what it seems. I'll leave it another 24 hours. Twenty sixth of September and it's quarter to eleven PM on the night time. Let's have a look. Oh I meant to uh, tap this actually. Just do a few knocks. Try and shake any water down. Yeah. That seems dry. I did dry this with a towel. That seems dry. Mo no moisture there so doesn't seem like it's leaking and I think there is a little bit more water in. Maybe I should have measured this for something but I doubt if I've got anything that accurate that I can measure it. You'll probably see. Put it into that corner. Can you see that glistening? So I'm assuming this, this um, Five odd layers, well six odd layers, because I did do previously. That was a bit thin, uh, but that is making that water proof. Right, I'll give it another 24 hours. Let's just feel the not that not that warm coming up the back. I think it's cooled down coming up the back if you ask me. Right, let's leave it at that until another 24 hours. Well, give or take a bit. Right, it's the 28th, it's just past midnight. So I've left it a little bit late to be. And it looks like less water in there now, so obviously it doesn't feel wet though. But it seems like to me, you can tell better than me because you can compare one day's video another day's video so I'm getting that corner over there 
sorry, the light's flickering here. Uh, that feels dry at the bottom. That feels all dry there. So what's happening with the water, if that's the case, is it being absorbed into the PLA? Because PLA does absorb, even with the paint, it might be still getting absorbed into the PLA. That's all I can think of. Because it certainly seems like less water there. But I would have expected it to be quite a bit more fuller than it is now. Anyway, let's leave it another 24 hours. That was about 26 hours there. I forgot to bang it down to shake any water off. Yeah, that shook a little bit more water off. Trying to get this at a, a decent angle where you can see how much water is in there. Looks a little bit better. So we've got that wet under there. Yes, I can see water droplets on, on this, like the coral fins in here. Just let me wipe that off a bit. Spread it out so it evaporates because I want that to be dry. Apart from that drop of water there, there that's uh, okay. So it's obviously working because the water is condensing on these fins. Or maybe there's just not as much humidity, maybe it's absorbed, you know, the humidity out the air. And maybe there's not much more left in the air. Anyway, I'm just going to leave it another 24 odd hours. And I'll come back. Sorry if the light's flickering here. I've got problems with my switch. I think it's a switch. Not making good contact. Well, it's just after 10 o'clock p.m. on the 28th of September. Yeah. Seems a bit, bit, bit more watering to me. I think it is filling slowly. Seems like a bit of dirt in that water, or possibly some sort of insect. Got caught in it. I don't know if it's an insect or a piece of dirt. It seems a little bit more water. I am measuring this. I don't have a thing to really measure it all that accurate. A bit of water spilled down here. Let me wipe that off. Sorry if I'm knocking the camera here. Just sliding the door back in. Draw back in, I should say. And I'm going to wait a little bit longer. Another 24 hours, give or take a bit. And we'll have a look then. Right, it's the 30th of September and it's 10 o'clock on the night, p.m. 10 o'clock on the night. Let's have a look. Oh, I, might, I should uh, shake it a bit first to shake any, try and shake any moisture off the fins that seem to hang onto the fins. It's hard to tell if the water is increasing, if it is, it's, it's not a lot. I don't think that is leaking, because if it was leaking then it would be pretty dry in here and wet, very wet underneath. But there's no moisture underneath, it feels cold, that's all. See how much moisture there is, and it's been however many days it's been. It's been on all the time, 24/7. So a bit of warm air. 
blowing out the back I can feel it so that means the front must be cold I can feel it cold here I can see moisture on the fins I don't know if you can see fairy but that's just moisture on the fins there don't think there's any ice there obviously you don't want it to freeze really you just want it to get below the gel point anyway I'll uh, come back in a day maybe two days try and get the same time so the 30th of September 2200 hours. Right, this is probably last one I'm going to do. I'm going to pour it into here. This is just a lid off a spray can. Uh, it's the 3rd of October. It's just after tw well, 20 past 12 in the afternoon, so it's not night time. Hang on. Put a bit of a... Try and get any loose liquids off. Reasonable amount. I think it'll look more when I pour it into me. It, it, this does have some like shapes on the corners to help you pour. It doesn't look a lot at all. See that it does work. It's part in here. So fast, but stuff it. Oh my own nozzles there. So that's after a few days. So I think it is working. This is bone dry on the bottom, so I don't think it's leaking out with all that paint on about five or six layers of spray paint on there. Put that back in. It might be just a case of there's not much moisture, humidity in here. Obviously it depends how much humidity there is. So I'll leave it at that. I'll put the files on line. So, um, well actually I'm fitting a switch to this power supply because I want to be able to turn it on and off like a rocker switch. But I, I looked in here and it's only been on a couple of hours maybe. And Sorry about this but I've got all sorts all over here. And this was emptied. You can see how much water is in there. So what's going on with it? Is it a case of... No, I can't see that. Oh, the fin's getting almost saturated or something. But what I tend to do actually is get some nano coat and stuff that's really for cars and coat that on here. And probably, possibly coat it on the fins so that any moisture will, water will drip off easier. That is the plan, you know couple of days time so as I say in this is my 12 volt power supply here and I tend to just marked out where I'm going to put a rocket switch in the mains cable going in so I can turn it on and off